What is up, my Aquarius Collective? Rose Warrior here. Going to be reading tarot for all Aquarius placements, but especially Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. I'm going to start us off with some prayer. I'm going to let these cards fall out. Spirit says to take all of them off. And then we'll continue reading Aquarius, okay? We'll start there. Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, Spirit of love, of oneness, of unconditional love and reality, of being able to all unify together in consciousness. Spirit of insight, spirit of joy and harmony and alignment and ultimate abundance. Guide and govern us in this reading for Aquarius. Let's begin. Aquarius. You have been struggling between listening to your intuition and listening to what's being presented in front of you. You're battling with logic from the mind and then you're battling with intuition from the gut and then it transferring to the heart. So you're at a crossroads here, Aquarius energy with the two of swords. There's also Libra and Gemini energy here. Nine of Pentacles represents seeing things come into fruition right in front of you, being able to have material wealth, material glamour, material advancement, and you've manifested that to yourself, Aquarius. I also see that you look very healthy. You look very, I'm getting well nurtured. I'm getting, you look very beautiful and naturally radiant. I'm getting the radiance of the moon here. Page of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, but it also is energy governing your heart, Aquarius. What is this crossroads here with the Two of Swords for Aquarius spirit? So Aquarius, mm. we've got 99 popping up for you. So we've got the nine of wands showing up under the nine of pentacles. The number 99 represents completion, really embodying completion and knowing that you are the yes in your reality. You are the ultimate warrior, the ultimate manifester here. You have the power within invested with you. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Nine different times have you battled and succeeded in this realm. Nine different times did you have spiritual battles with different types of energies and wand each time. It's why you've become a guarded person, Aquarius, and why you've done so much alone and why you only really listen to your ancestors and your spirit guides here with the crow mm -hmm. aquarius right underneath the two of swords here this big decision falling in the center is the seven of pentacles more capricorn taurus virgo energy here and the seven of pentacles showing up under the two of swords here tells me that this decision between the heart and the mind has to do with something you have been working on, a creative endeavor, a creative project here. You have been working on something for a very long time. You have been a part of a job, a company, or a community in an industry for a very long time. And you've been waiting very long for your achievements to be recognized as you have clapped for others. You've been in a state of where is my clap, right? Spirit's here to tell you that there is nothing wrong with asking that question when you know something just didn't feel right. You didn't feel as supported. Knight of Wands here. You weren't really supported by energies that were highly vibrational. You were supported by people who 
were in for fame, they were in for clout, they were in for self-recognition, they were in for it themselves. Here with the Knight of Wands is a very fleety person, someone who gets what they want and then they leave. So you were around a lot of energies like that, that riled up their horses the moment that you started to see certain parts of your ideas and hard work start to come into fruition to your reality here. So maybe this decision has to do with cutting off energies and cutting off realities altogether so you can move forward, Aquarius. So you can move forward from these Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energies that are very impulsive and don't speak with respect. I'm picking up a Divine Feminine Aquarius and I'm picking up a Divine Feminine, a Divine Masculine, I'm sorry. Or it could be two Divine Feminines, by the way. A Divine Feminine Leo Sagittarius or Masculine Leo Sagittarius. So these energies could be significant, just what I'm picking up. I have the Hermit here, Virgo. Right behind is the Eight of Pentacles. Showed up in reverse. So... The fact that it did show up in reverse shows me that with the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles, they're all crossing up here, Aquarius. You, look at that, seven, eight, nine, have been asked to believe in yourself. Let me pick this up here. You've been asked to believe in the potential of your ideas of your hard work you're being called to trust in the gifts that god has provided you with you have a lot of gifts aquarius gifts that can stabilize you and generations i'm looking at a lot of money i'm looking at a lot of pentacles i'm looking at years and years and years of hard work finally coming into fruition so you're being asked to trust your intuition at this time. Spirit says to trust your intuition. 727, that's the number that I've been posting a lot about. Look at my collective reading, and if you go to the description, you'll see in the um, angel numbers that I post that I see a lot. Sometimes I'll just post angel numbers at the bottom of the description here. 727 was there. So there's something significant here about the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here. You're being asked to finally see that you are something rare. You're a gem. It's a very hard to come across a type of person that has the humility you have, Aquarius. The level of detachment you have. You're not overly emotional. You can do so much alone. I see a lot of masculine energy, whether you're a woman, man, person in general. Being in, being in general. You definitely are someone who operates from a masculine standpoint here with the with the hermit card popping up as well. Very introverted. I'm speaking of somebody who has learned to operate alone only because of the type of environments they were in. So Aquarius, you were in an environment that had you become that nine of wands, that, that warrior here. Because you had to battle a lot of negative energies and a lot of ne negative entities here, Aquarius. Mm. Four of Pentacles, lots of money popping up here. Some sort of blessing coming in for foundational stability here. Foundation and stability are the two words I'm getting heavily here. We've got the devil and we've got four of cups here. So your introversion has kind of worked against you, Aquarius, because the times you're alone, you may be thinking about the past too heavily when spirit is really trying to present you with this intuition here. Look at that. You're being handed many, and it's a divine masculine energy or someone who's in a ma masculine energy right now, whoever you are. Uh, energy of action knowing you have to take action Aquarius telling you I really felt I was literally like stretching and just kind of warming up 
before I, I got active here because y'all know I'm into my fitness as well as I'm an Aquarius moon. It's important for me too to have my body in check as well as it is for you. I see that here. You're attracting opportunity to you, financial opportunity to evolve and level up. And because people have ever had it against you, you're being blessed with the intuition to know in advance. It's like spirit gives you the insight on who's going to keep you trapped here with this Capricorn energy here. Right underneath the hermit. People have tried to place some sort of self-sabotaging energy inside of your mind and tried to plant that seed. But spirit said it didn't work. Because spirit has been trying to give you the intuitive hits here to know when to leave, when to cut things off. Which is why you've been at a crossroads, because you feel it. Yep, I just saw the Ace of Pentacles pop up. But you do feel it, Aquarius. Let's see what comes out for you to clarify the Four of Cups here. Two of Pentacles, Aquarius. A lot of Pentacles energy here. Nothing but coin. Two of Pentacles clarifying the four of cups is spirit is going to be giving you a lot of communication people are going to be coming in aquarius to try and talk to you things are going to be shifting forward you're going to be forward thinking forward moving your ships are already sailing spirit is showing me within the cards here within the tides you have manifestation ability unlike no other is what i'm getting you have experience a very dark night of your own experience and you walked through those moments alone Aquarius and you were able to manifest strength you were able to manifest genius ideas from the realms that were people might think or believe you can't pull genius idea from you were able to transmute darkness into light here Mm -hmm. with the hermit you were able to transmute darkness into light and you took yourself away from these chains here you broke yourself free aquarius and you brought in options financially suitors people that are willing to help you ceos even though you're looking back at certain situations that was at one two three four don't look back, four, three, two, one. Look forward, one, two, three, four is the message there with one, two, three, four on the clock there. Incremental steps, building forward, Aquarius. You got nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, four of pentacles, two of pentacles. Aquarius, you could have heavy Capricorn tours or Virgo placements. Please comment down below. Also know that I do personal readings, so Aquarius, if you're really resonating with all these readings and if you've been following me, trust, these personal one-on-ones, they hit. I just did a few readings this morning and they were beautiful, so thank y'all for hitting me up. I got a lot of Aquariuses that are very um, serious about their inquiries, so thank y'all. Love y'all. You can also donate below all those descriptions and info to donate as well, even if it's a dollar. Y'all, if y'all donate a dollar, I can make like 10 bucks. And that's a blessing. It's about the small things, yeah? Thanks for blessing me when you do. So, speaking of blessings, you're being blessed. Spirit is giving you money in your bank account. You're going to have people tipping you. If you're a server, you're going to have people tipping you. See, that's the justice, the good karma here is here to balance for you, Libra. Justice is here for you financial justice here yeah because you were in an eight of swords energy you're in an energy of self-sabotage here you're in an energy of lack of fear of stress of worry anxiety and you're carrying a little bit of it with the two of swords here but spirit is transmuting the two of swords into the two of pentacles where you thought you couldn't receive aquarius clarity because you were worried and anxious Spirit is turning that into two beautiful opportunities for you to evolve. Which one do you choose? Spirit says. Which one do you choose? Spirit says to start a new spread. So you have a lot of money coming in. A lot manifesting for you. You're doing a lot alone. But I do get this intuitive feeling that you're going to be attracting a lot of different suitors because of your independence. 
because of this warrior-like energy that you carry. A card wanted to come out. Spirit says to just read it. Queen of Pentacles. There you go. Solitude, understanding. We've got Taurus energy here. It did show up in reverse. So maybe you could have been fixated on, you know, your energies elsewhere. And now you're coming into alignment with how to, whoa, manifest here. So look, Seven of Swords is popping up. That was definitely meant to come out. So Aquarius, where were you out of alignment here? Let's see. Let's see what it is. Y'all know that we speak the truth here and we're not tapping into nothing negative unless it's just to shine light on how we can transmute it even during this reading to positive Aquarius. So Judgment and Three of Swords. You're being asked to clear heartbreak for people who judged you, for people who persecuted you, for people who threw gossip, slander on your name, Aquarius. The high priest is Pisces energy. You always knew. You were always intuitive. You were always the golden one in your family. We're not going to call you the black sheep. We're going to call you the golden one because you were always that. You knew it. The number two is showing up here again for you. So two, two, two is significant. As you had two of swords, two of pentacles, you have the number two major arcana, the high priestess. So you went from the two of swords to the two of pentacles to the number two, the high priestess here. You are evolving through your heartbreak, through your heartache. We've got the seven of swords and the three of swords here. You had a lot come against you, Aquarius. This is Aquarius energy, by the way in its shadow, in its trauma. The swords is the suit of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. With judgment here, you set yourself free and are going to set yourself free using the gifts that spirit has given you, your connection to spirit here. You have that alignment here with spirit and the cosmos. Aquarius, King of Cups is coming out. So you have a Scorpio. Oh, the fact that I said Scorpio first. You have a Cancer and a Pisces who wants to come in and they see you. They have a psychic eye. They have some sort of, they may not be awakened yet, but they're definitely awakened to their heart. Their heart chakra is definitely something that is blasted open for them. That's their strength. Here with the King of Cups, this is a person coming in. So if you're looking for love, it's coming in for you. Justice, you deserve this. You could be seeing the numbers 11 or 1111. Dharma, for all this betrayal and fuckery you've been through, Aquarius, you're, and you've healed through, you've dealt with a lot of heartbreak. Heartbreak that almost killed you spiritually is what I'm getting. So justice is coming in. That's why love is looking good. Look, we've got King of Wands. For some of you, a Leo, a Sagittarius, and Aries also wants your attention. You have two kings, Aquarius who have their eyes set on you, or Aquarius, you could be coming into your King of Cups energy and your King of Wands energy. You're shining bright, Aquarius. This is for some of you too. You're also shining through your heart. You've enlightened yourself to how to heal and transmute trauma. So now you're standing in this power here because you know who you are and you know you can create realities based off of your self-belief and your confidence. This is your justice. Your justice is here. Spirit is trumping all of that pain with people who can help you heal, who want to support you to heal, Aquarius. The lovers. Sagittarius energy. During the Sagittarius season, this is going to resonate for sure. That you are going to find love. You are going to find a connection. You are going to know at least how to open up to find this connection in the future. See the full, a new beginning for you trusting spirit. Abundance is coming your way in love. Definitely in finances. We know that now, but definitely in love. Look at that. Look at that passion here. Got Aries energy and Sagittarius energy. And oddly enough, this is Leo Sagittarius Aries here. Look at that. A new beginning in all facets, in all manners. Spirit says to pull three cards and to leave it at that for Aquarius. So, 
Alrighty, Aquarius, if this resonates, please comment, like, share below. Remember, I'll keep doing readings and keep them as consistent as the support is there. Yeah. So if this resonates, show some love. Alrighty, Aquarius, so I have Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, and I'm getting Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, Spirit wants you to know that the times of fuckery and people being rude and being betrayed and being lied to and the times of people trying to pull the rug from underneath your feet when you finally started to succeed or at least started to heal, those times are over. You've dived deeply into your heart. You've dived deeply into the truth, into wisdom. You've studied your actions, your behaviors. You've prayed, you've become spiritual in a new way of the word, of the phrase, what we mean. Not just, I've become a spiritualist, but or I've become spiritual, hashtag, hashtag, no. This is the real deal here. Spirit says you've really become this. You've really changed for the better. You've really did what you had to do, felt what you had to feel, felt what you had to feel. And you've used your intuition to guide you, to protect you, to take you on the right steps incrementally to the top of the mountain spiritually so you can be at this place of understanding of who you are. So Aquarius, you've come a long way and there's gonna be a new shift for you. With the number eight, I'm also getting infinite potential. And with the phases of the moon here, there is some sort of downloads coming in for you. There could be some synchronicities, Aquarius, underneath the moonlight here at night that you might want to, maybe when you're moon gazing, you might want to actually Consider telling the moon, thank you for its energy, its healing energy. Ask for the things that you want from these energetic beings in the sky, and you'll be able to pull from the cosmic web that they exist in, connected to us. We're all connected here. That's what spirit wants me to tell you. Look, see? See those rays, but they also look like roots, and they're connected to her mind, the divine feminine here. Same here. Same aspect in the artistry. So you've created that link because you've been through a lot of trials. But Spirit says it's over. Start to think positive, Aquarius. Whoa. See, because that was heavy there. Spirit says, release those thoughts that do not serve you anymore. Three of Cups. Congregate. Congregate. Yep, the fool popped out again. A new beginning, Aquarius, in a way of the spirit. You now know you have a divine connection to spirit unlike any other. You know you're a rare gem. And you know that you are deserving of new upgrades in your positions at work, in school, in your research, in your studies, in your findings in your endeavors artistically, and especially in love this Sagittarius season. Open up, take the dive, take the leap, trust and have faith, and know that that's gonna be reciprocated to you. Have a great day, Aquarius. Love you, peace.